Hello, I'm Steve Lisk, head of school at Lancaster Country Day School, and on behalf of our entire school community, our parents, our alumni, and our student body, I want to wish our 2008-2009 Brain Buster team best wishes as you go into the championship round this evening. Good luck. Good evening. I'm Dr. Bill Horner, superintendent of Cumberland Valley School District. On behalf of our community, we wish our Brain Busters 09 team the very best. Go Eagles! Welcome back. This is Rich Rosen, and we are live at Whitaker Center for Science and the Arts for our championship final of Capital Blue Cross Brain Busters. Now, if you're just uh, joining us, we've played our opening round. The score is 100 to 40, but everything can change now as we play our one-on-one -on -one rapid fire. This is a terrific opportunity to learn about what goes on in the exciting young minds of these players. So first, if we go over to the set, and we're gonna say hello to Adam Shaw, he's a senior, and things that we've learned about you, Adam, over the course of our tournament. In the summer, last summer, 2008, you went on the American Music Abroad Tour of Europe as a member of the orchestra. You like to watch classic movies. You participated in the Bucknell Math Competition. You went to D.C. on a mission trip to help those in need. Well, we've learned so much about you, but what would be your dream job? Well, I wanna go into engineering, so. I've always wanted to be a Disney Imagineer, or maybe in the CIA or FBI as an engineer. <laughs> well, a little chase is two different things, but I like them both. You can do anything you want. I can sense that about you, Adam. And now, moving over to Lancaster Country Day, Jonathan Rajasilam. Now, he's a sophomore. Actually, the uh, one of the youngest players is another sophomore in the Cumberland Valley team. And you hope to major in molecular biology or chemistry, we've learned. You won the regional science fair, and you were on the front page of the Lancaster Intelligencer at one time. You're a talented and accomplished piano player. So, Jonathan, I ask you, what, what would be your dream job? Um, probably like a medical researcher somewhere or a professor of surgery or science. You're not going to pursue your uh, piano playing? Hopefully. Maybe as a minor in college on the side, I'd like to, yeah. Well, Okay. All right. Well, Adam and Jonathan, let's put you two one on one. Good luck. We have three questions specially chosen for you. On May 11th, 2009, the cost of a first class postage stamp increased by two cents. What does it now cost to send a one ounce letter? Jonathan? 43 cents. No, sorry, that's incorrect. Adam? 46 cents. No, you're both incorrect. It's 44 cents is what it costs now. Officially, he is the chairman of the National Defense Commission of North Korea, Supreme Commander of the Korean People's Army. And that's Adam. Kim Jong-il. Kim Jong-il is the leader of North Korea, yes. And finally, an arm of the Baltic Sea, the Gulf of Bothnia, lies between two Scandinavian countries. Which two? Adam again? Finland and Norway. No, sorry, that's incorrect. Jonathan? Jonathan. Uh, Norway and Sweden? No, you. Oh, it was Finland and Sweden. 110 to 40. We're now going to meet our next two players. First, Michael Liu. Michael Liu is the captain of the Cumberland Valley team. We certainly met you on that wonderful uh, visit to uh, the school that Lori did for us. You're a junior. Uh, you participated in the Millersville Math and Science Competition. You visited China over the winter vacation, and you saw your grandparents and actually lived in their home. You uh, went to the Georgetown Model UN, and you were among 3,000 students. You played in the pit for the school's production of Les Miserables. So, Michael, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, probably the most relevant of those would uh, be the Georgetown Model UN Conference. Um, uh, in this era of the internet, I've followed the news, I've followed politics. I've seen all of the great things that go, around, go on around the world, and I see all of the problems that we still have in this world uh, to take care of. And my dream is uh, I want to go into something like international business, someplace where you can first get rich, and then... <laughs> eventually um, use that to do things like, uh, say, Bill Gates or Warren Buffett have done well, to Mike, help solve the like world's you, problems. Well, Mike, with students like you, you give me faith in the future of our country and our world. 
Nathaniel Simmons, and you're a senior, moved here from Indiana last year. You participated on a local high school quiz show there, very much like this that was televised. You went to the Galapagos Islands with your grandparents. You did community service in Latin America, and you're interested in history and international relationships. So we ask you, what about you in 10 years? Where do you see yourself? Um, I'm still pretty undecided, but if I had to guess, I'd say some something in the humanities, uh, preferably one that would maybe involve like international travel, so I could maybe apply some of those international things I've learned. And use your writing skills. You never know. Nathaniel and Michael, we're going to put you two one on one. The son was an Ohio senator known as Mr. Republican. His father was Chief Justice of the Supreme Court and our 27th president, Michael. Taft. Taft was the last name of Robert and William. It was the disease for which Edward Jenner created the first vaccine. That's Nathaniel. Cowpox? No, sorry. In not seven, oh, Michael. Smallpox. Smallpox. In 1980, the World Health Organization announced that it had been completely eradicated. And finally, it was the year the first Susan B. Anthony dollar was minted, the year 90 people were taken hostage at the American Embassy in Tehran. And that's Nathaniel. 1979. 1979. And of course, the year the alarm went off at Three Mile Island. It was 1979. 130 to 50. He Lad is a senior at Cumberland Valley. Hemish is attending the University of Pennsylvania to study analytical math and science, and uh, I, I guess have a career in finance, but we'll learn about that in a moment. He studied martial ar arts. He has been selected for the honor by the Patriot News as one of the area's best and brightest, and I've just learned tonight that Hemish is the valedictorian of Cumberland Valley, class of 2009. Wow. What an honor. <laughs> That's a large quest. And we're going to Ellen Kladke, she's a junior. She spends her summers at Johns Hopkins Center for Talented Youth. She calls it Nerd Camp. <laughs> she's interested in cognitive science. And she broke her leg playing soccer, and we had to have a special accommodation for you once on the set, a unique yeah. situation for us, but we take care of you. So let me first ask Hemish. Hemish, uh, what would be your dream job? I think I, I see myself in 10 years probably working um, in a big city, probably working as a financial analyst somewhere in some big firm, like a big um, Goldman Sachs, um, J.P. Morgan, somewhere like that. If they're still around. If we hope so, around. yes. If and Alan Kladke, what about you? Uh, what would be your dream job? Um, I think I'd like to be a professor somewhere, maybe work with uh, Daniel Dennett, who is a, a pretty great philosopher um, and a professor, so I think that'd be interesting. Right, well, good luck to both of you, and good luck to both of you as we put you two one-on-one. -on -one. The Greek mathematician Aristophanes had a simple way to find them. What kind of numbers can be sifted out using Aristophanes' sieve? And that's Hemish. Prime. Prime numbers is absolutely correct. Prince Philip, the husband of Queen Elizabeth, is genetically a member of this family, which ruled Russia for seven centuries. What family is it? And that's Ellen. Um, the Romanovs? Romanovs, yes. Ooh, just in time. This hot sauce shares its name with the state of Mexico. What spicy condiment has been made by the Michelini Company? And that's Ellen. Tabasco? Again. Tabasco is absolutely correct, yes. 140 to 70 as we 